getting a little hot. So I had to turn on that AC in my horse barn. Okay. Anyways, all right. So let's go. Let's get deep. Let's get deep, 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 deep. Uh, what do we call it? LSP. We got the LSP debug tools, which I do want to make sure we have going. And then we all also have just the LS, if I'm not mistaken, which is just going to be literally uh, this. I feel like I've actually made some much better. Um, I feel like I've actually made much better progress than this. Hold on. Let me check something. I got to turn off my screen for a second. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to my. Uh, Okay, oh, that was weird. All right, hold on. I, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off my screen for a second. And I'm going to just check to see if I have it somewhere else. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to check out my other computer. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, all right, let's go like this. Let's go to that LS. Uh, All right, so I think this should be the one. I think this is the one. Yeah. I yes. Okay. There we go. Yeah. 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 I, I kind of made this a little bit a little bit nicer. Okay. I made this a little bit a little bit nicer. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me jump over here. Let me go to GitHub.com and let me just create uh, an open repo just for me to do some exploring on. You know what I mean? It's a little just a little one. Uh, um, exploring uh, LSP. Sorry, people. Hold on one second. I got to get back to my other computer. Hold on. Hold on, boys and girls. All right. Get remote. Add uh, other. Get push origin. Wait. Other. Love the song. All right. There we go. We got that done. So now let's go back to this computer. Let's go back to my computer. You know what I mean? All right, uh, let's go like this. Get remote. Do I have a remote on here? I don't. Get remote. Add origin. Let's go to here. Hey, thank Welcome you, San Monty. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, GitHub.com. The Primogen. Yeah. 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 Um, and let's go down. Do I got a brand new one? Yeah. 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 Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. There we go. Got him. Got him. Uh, dang it! My this this I'm out of I'm out of sync. So when I go like this. Damn it! I'm out of sync. What speed? Speed! Is that Thor's dad as your uh, background? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. How do you give life to that which has no life? Also, USA woman played today, and I'm going. Wait, played what? What? What are they? What sport are we talking about? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hodor! 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 <laughs> Anyways, hey, bro. My friend is trying to do a cherry pick. Get him updated on how to do it because he doesn't know how to do it. Uh, go to www.google.com. How to cherry dash pick. Get cherry dash pick. Get Shaw. So get wrecked. And we call it yoink around here. Um, anyways, all right. Welcome to Costco. Car go build. Can we build everything? Let's go. 
Hey, Prime, how are you? I'm good. Get cherry pick. Ooh. 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 I love it. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Samift. Hey, by the way, tonight, you know, if, if, I, if I'm going to be streaming at all tonight, which I don't think I will be, but if I am, I think I might play some Elden Ring. Honestly, there's part of me that just wants to play Elden Ring right now. Welcome to Costco. You know what I mean? I love you. Oh my goodness, I just realized you guys can't see my computer. It's still completely broke. Welcome to Costco. I love you. There we go. I just want to do some Elden Ring. I know. Hey, Abuye, thank you very much. And Rocky599, thank you very much. I don't know what it is. I'm in a mood today. I don't know what the mood is, but I'm just in a mood. You know what I mean? Have you ever been in a mood? All right, so there you go. I created this nice, beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful thing. Look at this nice, beautiful thing. Look at all that nice, beautiful stuff, right? Uh, all the good stuff. We got everything kind of looking a little bit more clear. So what I would really like to do today is I'd like to be able to start... I'd like to be able to start this thing. Uh, cargo, uh, Welcome to Costco. watch, watch, uh, X build. There we go. Chat jippity code. No, third, uh, third of the way there. Oof. Ooh, man preg. Pregnant man. Oof. Bill Gates. Typical Bill Gates. <laughs> you got billions of dollars? Have you ever tried coding with an AI? Yeah, I do it all the time. Uh, it's stupid most of the time. Uh, being in a mood is how I got uh, started using Cla Clodger script. Uh, got the gates. Yeah, should I start learning Vimming on QWERTY? Why not? I love QWERTY Vimming. Um, all right, so there we go. So we got this thing. So I think what we want to do is we have this like nice little, uh, you know, you, you know, we got like the definition provider, right? We got the default provider. This has all these different things that you can do. Look at all those different providers one can can do and i just want to send back some diagnostics upon save because if i'm not mistaken we actually come in here and we start the lsp and we get all these different ones which we got a message request if connection is shut down debug match go to definition so we have this one right here go to definition we can do all this and this is where i need to take this thing and i need to send back an answer you know what i mean so that's what we're gonna do uh, it's even dumber and now that I asked to write a Linux kernel in brain half and I started producing code for tic-tac-toe. Wait, what? Great. Uh, do you get to code with Russ at work? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, the song's fiery. Okay, so let's start here. We're going to get these messages. Let's just make sure that this all works. I'm going to jump back here. I'm going to close down Vim and I'm going to go uh, add to uh, path. And let's go like this. Let's go uh, present working directory, back, back. Wait, just back once. Uh, explore. Oh, hey, where? It's LS. I called it LS, right? Yeah. And then let's go right here and go to target, debug. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Nice. And then what are we calling this thing? Uh, cargo, Tommel. Okay. Cool. Cool. So that means I should be able to go here. Now that I have that in there, I should have that nicely added to my path, right? Uh, echo path. What do I got here? There we go. We got this one, right? Look at this thing. We can take this and we can go uh, LS, bam. Wait, por que Maria? What? What do you mean, por que Maria? What do you mean, por que Maria? Welcome to Costco. Oh, whoopsies. I love you. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Hey, pre uh, pre-dev, thank you very much. Personal docs. Uh, poor Aposix. Shh. Shh. Are we building a language server? Yeah, we're playing around with it. Uh, is this a... I don't usually stream on Wednesdays again. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got that, we can do a little launchy launch. Um, let's go like this. Let's go testing. Let's call it Wax Wing. Why not, huh? Uh, An example run. There we go. So we got this beautiful little piece of line right here. Go like this. Print um, X. Perfect, right? And let's shout this thing out. Uh, all right, awesome. We're just going to have, I guess, all of them come here. And what do we got here? We got debug. We got window. We got this one. And let's have launch. And let's go shout out. So there we go. So we should, yeah, there we go. So we can see that we're making, uh, we we're making some calls. If I save, do I get any calls? Do we get any calls upon saving? I feel like it's supposed to get some calls upon saving, right? What are we getting right here? Are we getting... Hmm. 
now yeah okay why are we doing that let's here let's take this out and let's grab the log line and let's go there we go oh my goodness i just realized that was way wrong there we go all right perfect so let's do that. Let's close this thing down, close this thing down, revim it back up. I'm going to take this example run and let's go like that and move that here and undo that, undo that, and then go down here and also add that. So that way I can like this. I can shout that out. I can shout that out and I can shout this out. There we go. So it should be, I, th I thought it was supposed to be receiving. I thought it was, I thought it received event. Oh, am I not getting the right trace levels? What 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 is my trace levels looking like? Uh, okay, can, can 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 we get the correct trace levels going on here? Yes, you you can find it. I can find it. You can find it. It's right there. Okay, trust me. We can find it together. All right, there we go. Thank you, Didier. Appreciate that. Uh, what is it? LSP restart. There we go. Uh, is that add to path function built into Zish, or is it just an alias? Um, it's just a thing that it does. You know what I mean? Uh, which add to path? It's pretty simple. You know, I wrote it. It's like a couple lines long. It's just an easy way to add to path without getting screwed or uh, add uh, to path front. Right? They're just simple ones. It just makes life easy. You know, like, that's what you should do. You should just write a couple things that make life easy. And I'm sure they might even exist at this po at this point. I just don't know. Ty uh, try uh, Type set uh, you path. Y you path. Uh, you don't need the check. You do that. Uh, simple and useful. You know, I'm, I, it kind of already works, so it's like, do I need to do that? I don't know if I need to do that. All right, so what is going on here? Let's look at this, and can I jump to error? Okay, so it starts off as info. Okay. What kind of music am I listening to? What the hell is happening in my face right now? I'm not sure if I like this. I don't think I like that. All right, so now that I have that, I should be doing debug level. Now, debug is often less than that, so let's go like this. Let's go jump back over here. Let's go in here and let's go command and let's go level debug. That should be good. There we go. Go here. Shout that out. Shout that one out. There we go. So now if I save, there we go. So now I'm getting that thing. Beautiful. Okay. So I like this. I like what we have here. We got the debug messages. We got the notification. We got a method. Text document did save. So now it's time. It's it's an opportunity for me to hook into this exact event and send something back. Let's just try to get this thing right here, right? Let's see if I can get a diagnostic right here. Oh, we're not doing that uh, today. Uh, edit com today. Looking at getting uh, diagnostics in Vim. There we go. Just trying to just trying to get the basic understanding because once I understand it, then the rest should be pretty straightforward, right? Should be pretty easy to do, you know. Oh, thank you. Hey, no problem, uh, Dodger lover. A dirty, a dirty Nastics. You know that we always explore memory usage and storage and and GC cycles. Yeah, do you have a parser and a typer for Lua? Por qué, Maria? What are you trying to ask me right here? All right, so we can go back here. I should always be able to start that back up. Look at that beauty. Uh, it's pretty much it's pretty much just disgustingly beautiful. So now, how do we do this? See, every time I save, we should get we should get more, right? Oh, did I destroy the job by quitting? I wonder if I destroy the job by quitting. Oh, interesting. It it, it takes down the job. When I close the window, it takes down the job. But okay, Maria, why is that? Jump to, uh, jump to here. Here, let's go like that. Let's look at this thing. Show window. Uh, we get this thing. If we're running, then we just simply show the window. I kind of feel like I want to maybe we could do something that's a little bit a little bit more clever than this. 
All right, we'll come back to that. Don't don't shut it down. Rule number one, you don't shut it down. All right, so let's not do that. All right, we'll do that one, and then we'll do that one. There we go. So let's go over here. So what can we do? So if we get a request, we get the request. We go to definition. We got to go to definition request. So is that what's, ha is that what's happening? Starting the main loop. Do all this. I save. What do we get? We get a message notification. Params, documentation, URI. There we go. Ah, ah. So we need to go like this. Match, cast, this. Oh, save. Is there like a, what, what do we call this thing? We call this thing, oh my goodness. I got to come up with a better way to look at these, to look at these things. We got a notification. Did save. Document, notification notification is that what it is it must be this right it must be that thing right it's not that thing okay so what is this thing okay so this is an actual enum what other enums do we have references go to definitions so we got to kind of figure out which one it is you know what i mean uh uh, could pipe your uh, standard error from your LSP through uh, said to cut off the prefixes? Well, why would I do that? I have it all in Vim and Lua, so I can just, I'm just going to probably play with that. You know what I mean? I can, I can pipe it out to Jake, Jake Quillen if I needed to. We're, we're going to get there. Right now, um, notification? No. Uh, text document slash save. Save. Isn't that the one I'm getting? did save what a what a name text document can you believe that microsoft did this all right so text document did save okay yeah that's because it's searching my project i want to search this project uh How do I set my current? What's the what's the thing to set my current working directory? Welcome to Second Costco. Soul, thank you very much. I love you. Thank you very much. I'm in uh, LSP types ninety four. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go like this. Is this not it? Is this not the thing? Oh, th that's that's cash. We don't want cash. Do we want source? Is that the thing we want? Yeah, we want source. All right, we want source. Okay, there we go. Let's let's uh, not find. Here, let's go like this. Uh, text document uh, did save. I'm assuming I need to escape that. What's the thing in? It's in notifications. Did save. Okay, so my guess is it's it's we gotta we gotta check these things out. You know what I mean? You use rip grep. Why don't you go use use rip grep? Okay, buddy. Why do people have such strong opinions about every gosh darn thing? Yo, rip grep just doesn't come for free everywhere. Okay, I use RG in my editor. I use grep in my non-editor. You know what I mean? Is there still a discount? Absolutely. Remember, I don't get any money from that, so use it all you want. All right. So it is a trait notification. Oh, interesting. I wonder what this is. Notification did open, did change, did save. Is this like a struct? What is this? Did save text document? I don't know this one. See, I don't even know this one. Uh, did uh, did save is this is this one notifications it's it's an yeah can i do that is it this one did save let's see it did save request is not satisfied the following uh, implements this one i need to figure out which one it is how do i how do i know which one it is maybe i can do something a little bit different here let's go like this we got requests, so we do this. Uh, we do this got request business. So this is what I don't understand how to see. I can see that we got this message right here: notification, notification. This. How do I, how do I express it on this side? 
Uh, it's a response and not a request. You're a thing. You're probably right. Uh, all right, so this is a go to definition. Is this a request? How do I, how does this one work as a request? You know, is and there's no notification, so I'm not sure really which one to use. Go to definition. Is hover request completion request references. Let's see, impl uh, request here. I wonder if it's this one. Uh, the Let's see. The workspace execute command request is sent from the client to the server to trigger. In most cases, the server creates a workspace edit. Applies to the changes. Okay, maybe not this one. We'll save. Wait until. Interesting. Okay. 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 Uh, maybe look at the docs. Uh, we can do that. Uh, what is it? It's a Microsoft LSP. Um, uh, RFC, and we also have LSP uh, server Rust, right? Did save text document. You think it's did save text document? Did save? Okay, I mean, does this thing implement a uh, request? Implements notification. So this might not be it. This this might not this not uh, this might not be the one we're looking for. So, let's see. Oh, message request. See, I'm a dumb dumb. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's go uh let's go warn I got here. Okay? We should see this, okay? Got notification, 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 did message, uh. Uh, let's restart this thing, maybe? Can that work? Can that work? Can we just restart it? Nope. Okay, I gotta fix that tool. That tool's gonna bother me if I can't auto, if I can't auto log on. Okay, I also need to fix this. That is also really annoying. Starting example. Yep. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I, a warning. There it is. Okay, so we did get here. So I got here. Okay, so we are getting here. Okay, so we have found it. We've officially found the line. Okay. We now know exactly where we're at. What's the goal here? To explore. All right. So that's good. He's convincing himself Rust is good. A hole, a hole, a hole. All right, Driz. You want to be on the hot spot today? Let's check out. Let's check out your messages. Let's check it out. Let's see. What, let's see. Let's see. Let's let's see. Let's see your insightful comments today. I uh, I if this wasn't go. It would have been done like twenty nine minutes ago. Okay, I can't argue that. You know, I, I do hear the moment you open up go. You get immediate knowledge of every last possible LSP method and how its implementation happens. Okay, so this is possible. Oh, here it comes. Driz, welcome to Rust. Rust is for people who don't know about Go, lol, Nate. Personally, I know both, but I find myself using Go most of the time. Nate. Okay, Nate, I don't know what's going on with you and this guy. But a lot of devs are obsessed about app performance over development speed. I only use Rust when I have to work with big data. Big, if true. Okay. I'm gonna let you live today to go another day. Okay. But if you come back in here, swinging the go shieldsmanship, we might have a little trip to Karen on our hands. Okay, buddy.
okay? Think about that. I just wanted to share that uh, I'm a pretty young software engineer. I already suffered from burnout due to not developing myself. Recently, I found an amazing job that made me challenge myself again and learn new stuff every day. And I want to thank you for being a part of that journey and make me rethink some of the stuff to keep my pushing myself. Ain't no way. You're welcome. You're welcome. Why don't you have pretty print the debug information? Why don't you pretty print the debug information, guy? Okay. Okay. Anyways. Um, okay. So this is good. So... I kind of want to fix a couple things, obviously, in my debug tool right here, because I want to build on this notification. I want to get a little, I want to get a little error inside of my, inside of here, right? I just want to put an error every single time on line. I would, I would say 69, but I can't. I'm going to put it on six because six always exists in all the files. So I'm going to start there, but I really want to be able to close this thing and then reshow this thing without the job shitting the bed. You know what I mean? Because when I do this, uh, something keeps on happening. Uh, so show window. So I should be able to go like this. Let's go like this. Let's check out this one. Has valid window, uh, and this one. Okay, so that's if it still exists. But if we do show window, jump to window. Ooh, see, that's the thing is I close the window, but the buffet, the buffet is still there. The buffet. And then not only that, but do I, do I have the job running right here? Ooh, look at this. Uh, let's go like this. Print. Uh, let's go like this. Print uh, LSPS. Here, I'm going to go error. I'm going to make sure that I really see this. Uh, let's see. LSP on error, right? Put a little E here. Give him a little E. You know what I mean? Uh, there we go. That feels right, right? And then let's revim this thing up. Let's reshout this thing out. Let's reshout this thing out. And then let's close that down. And then let's re go here and let's reshout it out. Okay, so I'm not getting. Interesting. So why are you not doing the thing you're supposed to be doing? This thing should still be running right here. Okay, so neither of those actually happened. Right? Neither of these things happened. Here, let's go like this. Print. Let's just make sure this is still happening. Print. Job or job running. Job running. And hit him with the B. You know what I mean? Hit him in the B, dogs. All right. Jump here. Jump back here. Go here. Shout it out. Go here. Shout it out. Then close it down. And then save. Look at that. So we know it's happening. Because look, we're still getting these, we're still getting the events right here. The events are, why is it saying false? What do you mean we're saying false? It's a server event. We got type, look at that. It said type server event, this false. And look at what I'm checking for server event and that uh oh oh are we done see is it not listening anymore are we not listening anymore are we not listening anymore i think we're not listening anymore i think what's happening here is i'm gonna go like this i'm gonna go like this print uh are we running? Question mark. Running. Let's just check in here. And then let's make sure that we're actually getting uh, this thing right here. Job running. Did we see that? Let's see. We don't see job running at all, do we? Do we? Do we? Job running. Okay, we're still seeing job running. I'm going to go like this. Job running. Let's see. Received line. Let's not have it all confusing, right? There we go. All right, so we should be able to go like this. There we go. We got that one. Should be able to do that one. Good, we got that one. Let's go back here. We're still getting events, right? There we go. You can see the events going upwards. You can see them going upwards, right? Okay, perfect. But it doesn't go upwards on this file for whatever reason. But on this file, it definitely likes to go upwards. Por qué, Maria? I don't really get it. All right, let's let's close this thing down. Let's go here. What do we get here? Standard error, info error, server name, request type, type error. For whatever reason, that's saying it's not equal, which is kind of BS. Oh, there it goes. It's still running. 
Weird. It runs in this one, but it doesn't run in this one. We got Lua LS. Auto start. Ooh, why is auto start not true? Why is auto start not true? I wonder if... Do I need some sort of auto start? Is there like an auto start? Oh, crap. I don't know what I'm getting strong. You, you are. It runs on my computer. Uh, yep. The quotes. I know, guys. I, I get it. I put the quotes in here, just not in the other one. Okay, I got it. I want... There we go. All right, so let's go like this. Let's go like this. Vim LSP uh, help LSP. There we go. All right, so we got this thing. Is there an auto start? Welcome to Costco. I love you. Auto start. Hey, thank you very much. Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, I appreciate that, Driz. I appreciate that. Welcome. You get to do this. You get to stay here. Where's the debugger? Still console log print? It's the only place to do stuff, okay? Let's see. Starting an LSP client will automatically report diagnostics via the Vim Diagnostics and read. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to want to learn how to customize and, and, and edit that display. Totally get that. Now, the real question is why? Why am I not seeing this thing attach, right? Why are you not attaching? How do I, let's see, stop, then reload buffer. Why is my completion working? Uh, all right, so let's, I guess we, we should probably look this thing up because when I go LSP info, I don't really understand what auto start is. Why does Lua get auto start? And why do I not get, water, uh, you know, auto start? You know, I, I kind of feel like I'm being bamboozled right now. Can we all agree on that one? Can we all agree that why don't I get it? Why do I only get one buffer and they get all the buffer? Why do they get one buffer and I get all the buffers? Okay, auto start Vim LSP. Ask Maria. I think you're root directory thingy. For example, Go please works as expected, but uh, JSON LS uh, does not work all the time. I have to eat qu uh, quickly to kick it off. Um, hmm. Let's see. I, uh, let's see. Hmm, I see. I, so you think the server is slower? It misses some initial setup. All right. Let's try opening a new one. Let's try opening a new file. Whoa. What is going on with Vim? I feel like I have somehow, I've gotten into a world that makes no sense. All right, there we go. All right, so when I open up this thing, I go like this. Uh, LSP info, do I got it now? Okay, so I do get it now. Now, let's see. No, see, it's only on a, sing it's only on a singular one. It's only on a singular one, which is, which is the one I started it in. It's only starting it right here. So I don't know this. Ban in a text stream? What, what's happening? Are you going to play Elden Stream after? I, I, I actually want to. I do want to. Which auto command? Yeah, I want to know which auto command. Any advice on designing and implementing big features on a company? Yeah, do the think through your answer. Explore a little bit. Come up with some ideas and then go after it. You know what I mean? You don't have to try to come up with everything on the spot. It's never going to just... Uh, you're not going to get it just off the rip. You know what I mean? It takes a little bit. Welcome to Costco. All right, so, I love you. Is there like an attach? Attach? Let's see. The Vim buff performs operations for all LSP clients attached to the given buffer. LSP buff. Yeah. Okay. So how do I get it to attach to other ones? Hey, by the way, thank you very much. Viper check for that tier three. Damn. Prime and Pokey are streaming at the same time. A menage do of streaming. All right. So obviously we get all these ones. Yep. I kind of need T. I, is there a TJ here? TJ! TJ! I need some sort of like auto attaching. I wonder if auto attaching is done in a different way. I'm curious if it's done differently. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. I wonder if I go to something like uh, LSP config. 
TJ streaming too? Nah. Nah. I wonder if it, I wonder if this one automatically kicks it off. Uh, let's go like this. Let's search for uh, vim.lsp. Let's see if there's an LSP start. Because I wonder if the start, uh, LSP start, I wonder if start is called on everything. Let's see, with an auto command that automatically launches a language server. Okay, what is this one? Purpose of setup is to wrap the call to NeoVim's built-in LSP start client with an auto command that automatically launches a server. Ah. Ah. Look at what we're seeing here, people. So it's not automatic. Yeah, TJ. I was just trying to figure out. So TJ, TJ, TJ's, TJ's, uh, TJ's mixed pieces. I was trying to figure out what is this auto start business right here. Right? My LSP doesn't auto start. And so I was looking for some sort of thing that does it. But I think that when I was looking at this thing right here, that this... The setup call in LSP config must attach to some sort of buffer and does it. And does it upon buffer attach. LSP, um, I think that's I think that's what it is. Am I correct on that? I think so. I think that's how it does it. I'm just trying to I want to see. Let boof equals, yeah, it could. It could be a boof. Uh, we went and got you, TJ. I know. Just uh, just do start client. So, okay, hold on. So this, this what I'm doing right here, isn't it? You don't want to do, you want to do start client? Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just following the, uh, the help guide, dog. Vim, uh, LSP dot start client what is this one starts and initialize the client for the given configuration ah okay command command environment detached daemonize the server process so that it runs in a separate process group from neovim we don't want that one capabilities handlers settings commands init options values passed in what are the uh, as init options see initialize can i jump to that thing I may have missed it. Uh, it must be start client. Yeah, that one's for my original bangers. I'm having a new one. Okay. So I wonder if start client does something a little bit different. Yeah, let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's start this one. And then let's go like this. Let's shout out this one. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you want to just call me on Discord quick? I don't have any contacts. I'm also streaming, by the way. You're, you stream on Twitch? Shut up, TJ. Are you doing O-Camel? Are you doing O-Camel, TJ? On a, on a scale of 1 to O-Camel, how much O-Camel are you doing? Hey. Oh? Hello? Hey. Um, so... Yeah, so I'm trying I'm not to doing no right now. I did nine hours yesterday, uh, but we'll do some more later after dinner today. I got to I got to do some work. I, RIP. I get it. Um so teach. So this is what I'm yeah. doing. I have a little server that I have. It's in my path, a little LSP. Okay. It uses yep. Rust LSP generic server so I can just start it up and start intercepting requests and I'm I'm getting it. It's it's yep. all running. But uh yep. when I obviously when I source this file the buffer is attached specifically to this file, right? So if I do LSP info, uh, we yeah. can see right here that I have Waxwing. It's attached to apparently no buffers right now. It seems a little suspicious. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, uh, so the way that I think you probably want to do it is you should start one, one like when you start the, um, I don't know, like NeoVim. You just like run it and you store some global as like a client ID. Uh -huh. And then you call vim.lsp.buffattach client, and then you give the buffer and the client ID that you want. Okay, hold on. TO, TO, TO. Timeout, 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 yeah. timeout. All right, so I call, yeah. I call LSP, uh, LS, 
LSVIM or L oh my goodness, Viv LSP dot start client and start client right <laughs> it's here. It's worse than listening to an article. <laughs> okay. Okay, guy. And this thing, what does this thing return? Uh it returns the client ID. Okay, so yeah. let's go uh let's go back here. So if I go like this, local ID equals this. This would be the ID that I get back. This will be some beautiful ID, some number, doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's my LSP client that I have. And so then yeah. upon this, I'm gonna want something that's like some sort of like um, window something. Yeah, you could just do like buff enter or like buff new or file type. Like if you only want it to attach to certain files or whatever, like you can just, however you want to do it. I have no idea what you're trying to even attach to. You I want to attach saying? to every single file. Yeah, okay, so you could just do like buff new. All right, and then you only want to do it on like the first time you enter a buffer, right? Or you could yeah. keep track of the buffers that you've already done or whatever, right? No, like I'd rather do buff new. Yeah, I'd rather have it. Yeah. I'd rather have Vim do it for me. So there you go. So buff new. So the, this is a new one. So then I would do Vim LST uh, buff attach client, and then I'd give yeah. it the buffner and the ID. Did you see Copilot fill that in, by the way? Well Copilot done. actually did it. That was Hopefully that's good. right. I don't know. I is it right? But it might be buff, not. I think it's um. I don't remember if it's buff or buffner, but that's it should be fine for args for it. Oh, the args, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, yes. it'd be from the auto command. I don't remember if it's args dot buffner or args dot buff. So I can how do you remember. find the args for a given auto command? So like, here's one right here. Where do I go to? Well, find just it? go to nvim create auto command as the as the help. All right, uh, nvim create uh, auto command. This one. Yeah, that one. Mhm. Mm okay. And then what? Uh, I think it lists a bunch of them below, but I don't remember. Options, Opt, options, yeah. yeah. Okay, buffner. It's buffer, yeah. Oh, it's that buffer. That would have been a classic. Well, I re, I actually, I accidentally misread that as buff, buffner. <laughs> nice. That would have been good too. Yep, I was literally like, "Yep, it's buffner." No, it's actually buffer, huh? That's too bad. Anyways, there yeah. we go. So that should always attach my ID. So once I start this. For forever of new. Okay, so that's what's going on. Okay, so I see what's happening. So if I go like this, yep. There we go. And obviously, that means anyone that wasn't open technically won't get it. Right. right. Yeah. So that's why you could like you could you could add some other stuff for it or whatever. So have... You also probably want to do something you know where you like save that ID as a global and check and make sure that you don't already have one running and and all that kind of stuff because if you're going to reload them all the time then you're going to accidentally start the start a bunch of LSPs over and over and over and over that's probably not what you want. I don't know, you'd have to decide which one. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not worried about that right now. Uh huh. Nvim get is it get uh get buff ID? Get uh get current <laughs> Yeah, buff. get current there buff. Is that what you're Okay, yeah, yeah, eight. Okay, cool. So that one I'd see, I'm on number eight. And as you can see right here, Waxwing is attached to eight. Awesome. Nice. Cool. Thanks, okay. TJ. I, so yep, you're, no you problem. stream on Twitch? <laughs> live right now. <laughs> you're live right now? <laughs> yeah, chat can't hear you in my chat, though, because I wasn't ready for this. Okay. I got to go. Loser. Bye. Bye. All right, there we go. Did everyone catch that? Do all VODs of streams get posted to the Vimagen channel? Most part, yeah. Okay, so this is great. All right, so I wonder if this is going to be similar in VS Code. Because I have to do uh, I have to do this for VS Code as well. TJ's rad. Yeah, TJ really, know, he really knows the LSP thing. So he is definitely someone who, when I get stuck, that makes more sense. So that uh, that's why uh, he should make YouTube videos. I know, I keep telling him to do that. I keep telling him to do that. Uh, what is this channel's deal? There's no deal here. We don't make deals. Okay? We don't make deals. This isn't some Sam's Club channel. Okay, buddy? Okay, send Doraria. We are going deep and hard and fast. And that is it. That is it. Deep, hard, fast. I'm not allowed to say deep, hard, and fast one by one, Karen. Okay, no, this, hey, this isn't about me. This is about Sendriol. Okay, it is about me then. Well, guess what, Karen? We're going deep. We're going hard, and we're going fast, okay?
All right, so so obviously there's probably some things I'll need to do in here to make sure that it's all good. But if I do this, now that I've opened a couple other, you should see this. There we go. So Waxwing is attached to all of them. So if I go back here and I go here and I shout this thing out and I save, there we go. You can see that it's, it's giving us lines. Okay, perfect. That's kind of what we wanted to see. When I go into here and I save, you should, and I go here, and there we go. I see some lines, but oddly enough in here, I don't see lines. Interesting. So for whatever whatever's happening, there needs to probably be more checking, some more comprehensive nature to this like debug tool and attaching and all that. But to be fair, I'm not technically writing this. Uh, the first version of this LSP doesn't really go with Vim. Its technical requirements is actually to go with VS Code. So, with that in mind... You know, hey, shut up. Okay, you know what? Okay. You know, here's the, you know, when you get older and you, and you got to make decisions with your life. <laughs> you know, the irony of the whole situation right now is rather funny. That I, the Vimogen, will be developing a VS Code plugin. In NeoVim. Can we just agree that, that there, there's, 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 a, there's a little bit of sweet matrix confirmed? <laughs> it is literally the biggest irony of all time. Life. Hey, can you say, hey, you can take useful things from useful, uh, useless piles of trash. I can. I can make useful things. Imagine if TJ uh, has NeoVim deprecated and pushes users to VS Code. That's what he's doing. You're still invited uh, to that Microsoft talk? No, they never responded back to me. After I tweeted it and it got viewed by one million people, they decided that I wasn't the right fit anymore, which is a little insulting. I know it was it was probably bait. They're trying to bait me because they knew I was about to write a, uh, a VS Code plugin. Okay, so this is good. So we do have that thing. Um, I do kind of want to. I kind of feel like I need to figure out a way to. There we go. We still got them updating. So this is good. We got everything updating. Everything's happening up here. We're looking good. So now I have kind of two choices. I I can either a. Let's see if I go up here. You can see right here. I'm getting uh, I'm getting a warning level message. I got here. Which if we go right here. And we go to here, you can actually see I got here. So there we go. So our other Rust project is actually executing this. This is actually making its way into a log. The log is being displayed in Vim. And so there we go. We're looking good. Which means that when we actually launch it from, say, VS Code, I will still be able to get these exact messages inside of Vim while running inside of VS Code. So pretty happy about that. I think I like that. I'm going to go P. And then we're going to try to figure out what the heck's going on with VS Code. All right, hey. Hey, 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 um, All right. The funny thing about HTMX being so hyped uh, now is it's precisely why spas uh, were invented. Welcome to Costco. I is love it? you. Do you talk to yourself while you're not coding but not streaming? Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. How can I increase context uh, window of my brain GPT? I don't know. Get better, kid. Uh... Thank you. Uh, free the heap. Absolutely love the name. Uh, Tim Historian, Time Historian, thank you very much for that sweet, delicious um, thing, whatever the thing is. Uh, hey, uh, Tim, D uh, Tim O. Youngster, thank you for that Twitch Prime. Appreciated. By phase, thank you very much. Insomnia Assault, thank you very much for that. Time Historian, let's go. Did I miss anybody else? No, Viper Check, I said thank you to that. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. So I got a couple, I got a couple options here. I got a couple options. We got some options, okay? We got some options. And so I, I kind of want to think about something here just for a moment, okay? Uh, this is what I'm kind of thinking. So one thing I want to do is see, one thing I need to, so kind of one of my mission goals right now is to get familiar. So let me, let me give you some mission goals. Some mission goals. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Our Lady of Sorrows. <laughs> Sad name. 
Uh, but here we go. Mission goals. Are you ready for some mission goals? I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Okay. Remember in the old remember in the old vampire movies, you could always tell someone was a vampire because they had the the widow's peak. Why no? I just happened to wear my hair this way. You know what I mean? They would know. You would know. You would just know immediately this man's a vampire. He's about to bite somebody. That's uh, just Welcome you in high school. school. No. I love you. In high school, it was off to the side. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, it was off here. It happens, you know what I mean? The Gothogen. Classic men uh, millennial side part. Um, the emoji, uh, junior high uh, junior high me had braids because of corn. Yeah, that's not surprising. That is, that. I mean, Chris, that's like uh, a huge portion of the kids our age. <laughs> Emo furriogen. Okay, so. The cringogen. Okay, calm down. Okay, so here, here's what I have to do. Um. Let me just kind of like write down what I need to do. One, uh, this is not going to work. You guys literally can't see it. Okay, one, I need an LSP, right? I need LSP integration. Okay, whoa, 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 integration. Kind of important, right? Uh, two, I need to become familiar with, uh, oh, why does it keep doing that? Uh, with SWC. Oh, oh it's because I'm typing so hard. My mouse is literally going over onto the other screen. Uh, I need to become familiar with SWC. And possibly tree shitter. All right. Three. SWC is JavaScript. Four. I learn best with a project. All right. So let's think, what can I do to, do, to accomplish all these things? Did I mean tree sitter? Uh, no, we all call it tree shitter. Okay. A project based project. Frick yeah, yeah. Um, and so, so this is kind of like my thought, which is I need something that I can really learn SWC from. Learn how to use tree sitter potentially. Learn kind of how to do something right. We got to create it, and I need to create it with a language server. So what if? Hear me out. Hear me out. To accomplish all these things. And for me to be considered useful at Netflix, but also maybe get some sort of sweet street credit, you know, on the streets. And guess what? Ah, oh, my goodness. Light makes me weak. Oh, no, I can't breathe. Have you ever sneezed and then it closes your trachea? Oh, I'm getting trachea. Okay, here we go. Uh, so I, I need to combine these three things, right? I need to combine SWC, tree shitter, and I need to con uh, combine LSP. Does this make does this make sense? So I kind of have a couple different options. Now remember, a while back I did do uh, the refactor uh, refactoring a dot neovim, but I really I really hate. Lua, like, to a certain point. When Lua gets really big, Lua is not a language in which is great for big projects. Little projects is great. So I need to do all of these combined, right? So, this is what I'm thinking. Are you ready? Like, I, I don't mind Lua in small doses. Lua for a little script here. Lua for a little windowing script there. Lua for a little bit of this. Great times. You're are you sure it's not just your diaphragm cramping a bit when you sneeze? No, because it hurt right here. Um. So what I'm thinking, hear me out here. All right, are you ready? Let's pretend for a moment this is TypeScript, okay? And you have a function, foo, and because you're awesome, and you have A and B, right? And you're awesome, right? You're You are an awesome programmer and so this is the kind of program you write right you're functional baby you do nothing but functions right what if what if i could give you a little warning right here 
and I could let you know. I could let you know. Hey, man. Every time you call this function, you will be creating a closure and a function handle. Could lead to higher garbage going on. Maybe inside of here, you do a little bit of dot A, a little bit of dot B, maybe a little bit of dot C in there. I could let you know right here. Hey, man. This does copy the object shallow, shallow, shallowly. Do you need to copy? Copying can result in higher garbage collection. Right? Little warnings. Hey, man, not cool. Sorry, uh, let's go Justin Trudeau on here. Let's go, whoa. Well, let's go, let's go Justin, Justin Trudeau on this one. Hey, person kind. Again, you copy. Perhaps not, right? Just kind of goes through a couple of these little things that let people know, like, hey, these things have, you know, some level of effect. Uh, you could just let them know. And it's something you could just turn on maybe for a moment. Maybe you only want to turn it on for a moment and, and we just check it out, you know? It's just like a, it's like a, we call it like a, a de-pessimizer. You can also check throwables. I'm not sure exactly what you're saying. Do you copy over? I heard you liked functions, so I put functions in your functions. Hell yeah. Every line would have some kind of potential bad side effect. No? A little bit. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prime is getting old. Damn it. What does that even mean? Users copy again. Stop. Look, uh, I'm getting a little tired of saying this, but you've created a lot of garbage. Right? Well, it's just to let you know. It's, it's, not, it's not meant to be... It's just something to think about. Right? Like, if you have a... You know, you could, you could keep on... I mean, you could go pretty far with these things. Right? In the sense that... Um, Prime Prime 360 should work. It should work as long as you're on kinesis.com. Like it doesn't work on Amazon. Yeah, the store's down. All right, use uh look at that 360 to save 15%. It says that right there. Uh, still bitter about the, about buying one before you had a code. I'm sorry, buddy. Kinesis just directs me to Amazon, though. Yeah, right now they do, they do, they do that. Uh, Mil uh, Melky, you don't even know about concavity. So until you go full concave, you, you don't get, you don't get to speak. Okay. Okay, I, I moon, la I moon landed before as a moon lander. I, er I, I ergodoxed. I know the difference between concavity. I know the difference between putting those fingers deep, deep, deep inside that keyboard and letting the fingers fly, baby. Whereas you just simply know that flat hand, flat foot, flat spinal cord, no arch, no nothing, unathletic approach to life referred to as a moon lander. You know what I'm going to call it? You know what I'm going to call it? I'm going to call it a failure to launch keyboard, okay? You ain't getting anywhere. You're going to staff report taken out of context. Milky is fake. Karen HR. I want to keep shaped like a basketball. I know that would actually be really sweet. Staff reporty. Russian keyboards. RMRF Brian. Whatever works for you, smiley face. It's actually not true. There's things that are really good for your, your, your wrists and things that aren't good for your wrists. So if you like typing on this kind of keyboard, that's really great. But after a, a while, you just you just you just do damage to your wrists. You know. It's proportional to how much you use it. So, don't do that. I'm doing that right now. Just evolve your wrist for a normal person keyboard. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Uh, have you noticed any reduced wrist pain? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I was actually going to have to quit being a dev. I literally started thinking about being in management.
Yeah. 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 Real talk. You realize... Okay, you guys may not realize that. But do you know how much stress it is to re to think that your life is over in development? Why do you think I tried out the Ergodox? Why do you think I learned how to do Dvorak? Yeah. Yeah. I was terrified. Dude, I, it just Welcome was Costco. hurting all the way I down this you. hand. Like, all the way down this hand. I, yeah, I tried an Ergodox. Ergodox is just Moonlander just without his fancy uh, of software slash R RGB. You know what I mean? Okay, real talk. Do you think Dvor uh, Dvorak actually helped? Dvorak actually helped, but uh, this helped significantly more. Honestly, just having a Kinesis helped 10 times more. I even have the old Kinesis. Um, yeah. It was it was bad. And that's why I, uh, I, I moved it. That's why I moved it. I couldn't get it. I felt no difference with uh, Ergodox. It's the... Um, Kinesis did a lot. Show, the, show them your presentation about efficiency speeds. Uh, I, I don't want to look it up, Melky. Okay, we can't look at it. We can't look that shit up. Okay, Melky, we can't look at that shit up. All right. It, but it turns out that if you type the Constitution of the United States of America, you will actually type about 40,000 less centimeters typing in Dvorak than you do in Quarity. Okay, the real ones now. Just avoid micro adjustments at the wrist level. Yeah, no, that's very true. It, this is very, very true, Chris. The, the hard part is that, it, the thing is, is that at minimum a moon lander. I always say that th thumb clusters are the most important, right? So this is your most important aspect of any keyboard. You got to have a thumb cluster. And the reason why thumb clusters are important is that as I type, I can press things like this, right? Whereas you have to go like this constantly to press control, right? And that's where you get it. That's where you get all effed up. And so I think thumb cluster, as long as you get thumb clusters, you, you really you really take it to the next level, right? And that way, because control and stuff is right here. So you just kind of, you're not really adjusting anything. Yeah, your pinky should be, your pinky should only be typing a very few things. Very, very few things. Yeah, that's totally normal. Look where my pinky is. It's holding up the phone. Tell me that I'm not smart. That is a smart-ass way to hold the phone. Okay, you, look at this. Okay, yeah, I did a flexing photo, okay? We did it. You know why? Because I got to flex on you, Arch Nerds, Costco. okay? I love okay, you. I got I to gotta flex on you, Arch Nerds, okay? That's what happens. Okay? And so, yeah, I hold my phone smart-like. Look at my reply. Okay, Melky, where are you at? Where are you at, Melky? <laughs> look look at Ward's reply. Uh all right, where where are you, Melky? Melky, where the hell are you? Wood, we're so back. It's over. We're so back. It's over. Where the hell is it, Melky? Wait, am I am I Oh, discover more. Where is it, Melk? Melk, give it to me. Melky, where is it? Your little bi yeah, I know. He my bicep vein is cute. I wish you had one. Maybe, maybe at some point you could get a. Maybe at some point you could get one. Like when you get one, maybe that will be awesome. You know. You. I mean, it looks like you're getting close though. I mean, you almost got a vein. You're kind of like the new uh, androgynous uh, Hershey's bar where they took off the penis vein. My doctor puts both hands on my shoulders during prostate exams to help comfort me. <laughs> 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 oh, 
What the fuck? These nuts. What the fuck am I losing to? Welcome to Costco. I love you. What the hell did we just listen to? <laughs> Welcome to Costco. I love you. Oh, I'm dying. Who, who said this piece of art? Oh. Oh my goodness, I turned red from laughing. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. That was a gobbler from... Do <laughs> yeah, dude, it was. Hey, thank you, Sergio. I appreciate that. And C3Dev, let's go in the live. How you doing? Dude, tier one, let's go. How many months? You got 20-something, right? 26 months. Damn. Thank you very much. And Ketsu, thank Welcome you for the 500 bitties. Appreciate that. I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday again. Thank you for the roasted B. I appreciate that. Undefined is null. What? You lie to me. And Saud XV, thank you very much for that Twitch Prime 14 minutes ago. How am I missing all these? I don't know how I do that. Uh, palm, uh, palm de forma. Thank you very much. All right. So let's keep on going. Uh, all right. Anyways, it's just something to think about because I kind of want to just have like a basic look at things. I need to kind of basically under uh, understand swick, and so I need to take this and do something with it, okay? And so, uh, what do you say? Uh, I see a video daily, and now it's time to see the stream. Well, thank you. All right, so that means what I can do is I can go back to this thing. Uh, where are we? We're in the LSP land, and I can we can just start we can start doing something, right? And so that probably means I need to move things over to crates. You know what I mean? Which means I'm going to have to do that whole, like, what is it? It's like some sort of members or something like that. I, I, I forget how this thing works, right? And we can go members equals this. And uh, I can have the uh, LSP. And then I can also have the other thing, which is probably going to be the compiler, right? Or the, you know, the perf checker. The, uh, the uh, perf checker, right? We're going to want them to be different. I, I can't remember exactly how to do crates. Welcome to Costco. Uh, cargo. Uh, crates, cargo, Welcome GTA to 5. Let's go. You. Tommel. I always forget how to do this. Uh, thank you, uh, Ricardo. Appreciate that. And Cradeless, thank you very, very much. Workspace. Workspace. That seems right. And then I got to go L. Uh, then I got to go like this. I got to go cargo add or cargo new lib right and so i gotta go lsp lib pwn the libs right and uh perf checker there we go we got those ones and there we go so that means i should have those ones right there which means i should be able to come into here this will be my main one which will do all the kind of setting up of everything the ops should be right in here and that means this thing should be right in here there we go Let's go in Welcome here and let's go to LSP lib you. and go paste. All right, this all looks good, which means we need to go into here and we need to go into here and we need to go cargo tommel. And then I need to do this whole like workspace dependencies, right? Gosh, I, man, I, dude, going through, I always forget how to set up these projects. Hey, thank you very much, Tugas. I appreciate that. I've been watching on YouTube for quite a while and wanted to check it out live. Great content, great takes, lots of learning. Thank you for putting all this content out into the world. You inspired and helped me a lot recently when dealing with burnout. Working on my own stuff in my free time, as you suggested in a video, has made uh, me excited to code again, and I'm stoked about it. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank, uh, thank you. I like this song. This song's a banger. Uh, it is just a slapper, right? Danielle, uh, only in the USA to be able to have these guns legally. Damn, son. You talking about Melky? Even Melky has some guns coming from Canada. You only have to set up the dependencies of the Tomo of the workspace members. Yeah, but there's there's a, there's a way to be able to, like, say, have anyhow. And I just go like this. Workspace equals true, right? Uh, hold on. Oh, workspace, dependencies, uh, Tomo. I, I never, like... It always, I always have to look this crap up because it's like you, you set it up once and then you got to remember, okay, so we got the dependencies, right? We're going to have to do that. So we're definitely going to want something like um, LSP equals uh, path LSP. We're definitely going to want the other one, perf checker. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And then uh, works space. Uh, how about this one? Dot workspace. Uh, dependencies. 
Okay, so it's not in here. Hey, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, Rust. Nice, hey, hey Rust, nice job. Um, all right. Resolver, well, let's see, works by, workspace. Yeah, we, we got to do this thing. Members, hello. Yep, so there's that thing. Okay, so we, we did this thing. Okay, so, we, okay. Okay, so we did get that one correct. Uh, I have a template for everything. It, dude, I, it, because you you only have to set that up once. That's the problem. Uh, you have to set the dependencies in the toml of the workspace. Of, of course, of course. But what I'm trying to do is also workspace equals true. You can also do it with uh, this this as well. But I need to also be able to like have the explicit dependencies. And so that's what I got to do like this for, right? So hold on. Um... Let's go like this. Uh, back, back. Um, let's see. Grep. Find. Uh, we'll start here. Max depth to uh, type file name cargo toml. And let's just cat them all out. Let's make sure I get a... Uh, workspace equals true let's find one of those ones there we go nice okay so i did i did find that one i did find that one okay so it does exist so we we do have that one we do have that one i figured it would happen right so can i use rg from right here uh what is it i knew i'd have it uh rg worker dot workspace equals true Explore three. There you go. I knew I'd find this eventually, right? I know I've done this every time I do this. All right, dependency. See, okay, there we go. So where's the other one? Workspace dependencies. That what the hell this thing is called? I. There we go. See, I knew I'd figure it out eventually. Hey, Brian, uh, didn't Twitch for? Uh, didn't Twitch? Didn't Twitch revert it? Yep, I reverted the hell out of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, have a let's see. I have a template, dude. I know. I need to get those templates. I need to get those templates. This is looking good. So there we go. We have all of these things, and then we have my dependencies for this thing. I'm probably gonna want anyhow, right? Uh, true. And so let's definitely fix this one. I believe actually I can just go like this, right? Yeah. All right. So I think I need this one, and then I need what? Clap. Probably want log. I think that's all I need. Is this probably true? I, pr I probably don't even need that one, honestly. Right? Yeah. There we go. So this seems right. And now we can take all of this thing, and I should be able to use all the logging and everything. So let's go back to the main. And let's see, what do I use here? I have the ops. I have structured logger. Oh, structured logger. Structured logger. Struct structured logger. Uh, workspace equals true. Wow, that did not get anywhere what I wanted. Uh, work space. Is that right? All right. What's the name of the keyboard? Uh, Kinesis 360 Advantage. Uh, I'm in the process of resetting up my whole area. That's why my lights kind of suck right now. Uh, work, warp, warp, warp safe, safe. Does Prime use QWERTY? No, I do not use QWERTY. I use Dvorak. All right, there we go. So this looks good. We have all these things right here. This is fantastic, right? Saturday, Saturday, just on. Um, do I need anything else in here? Let's see. Let's see, I have file, anyhow, clap, log, structured log, uh, and then start LSP. There you go. So those are all the things I need, which means I probably can keep ops. Ops are the only things I really take in here. LSP needs to go away. And we'll take that one, and now let's go over here, and let's have a lib, and let's have, let's see, main loop. Okay, this is good. Start LSP. Perfect. We got everything we need, right? Is he using Vim? What else would you use? Is there something else I could use? Is there is there really something like what do people use like nano? I use NeoVim. Oh, Emacs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't use Emacs. I'm not an Emacs guy, you know. 
Notepad, fleet. You can fleet these nuts. I, let's see, Ed. I've always wanted to use Ed for a day. Maybe I should use Ed for a day one of these times, huh? You know what I mean? Adam, get the hell out of here. Imagine uh, not knowing how to exit Nano. I don't. Okay, it is confusing. I worked with a guy who unironically used Notepad++ as his primary. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen those people. I use Rider to learn Vim. It's kind of crazy to get NeoVim to work with the Unreal. No, but that's fine. There's certain, there's certain things that you work on that you use a specific editor for, right? Like if I were to use Java, I would just use IntelliJ. Right? I mean, the reality is, is that Java is just like, it's really good with IntelliJ. Just like if you're going to use C Sharp, you should probably just use a Microsoft product. Not that I want to, but if you're going to do it, it's probably just the play. Right? Then there's just a bunch of general languages that work really, really well outside of those ones. And that's what I'd rather do. You know what I mean? PyCharm uh, worth for Python. I heard people like that. I've never really used it. A writer is good. Okay, see, I've never done that. See, exactly. Okay, anyways. So now that we have that, I should be able to go here and let's go here and let's delete this. Let's um, delete this thing. Let's go into main. All right, um, and go into ops. Okay, so these are all good. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah? Does this all look good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, good. Because I need to I need to learn this. Discovered Kickstarter yesterday, uh, and now I'm a 10x. Dude, Kickstarter is great. Uh JetBrains IDEs are usually only good for type languages. I did I did uh what's it called? I did uh JavaScript for years in a JetBrains IDE, and it was great. It was great. I really liked it. I, I don't feel like I'll ever use VS Code. I feel like if I'm going to use something, I'm just going to use uh, JetBrains product. Right? I just think that JetBrains is a superior editor. And so if I'm going to go all in on an editor, I'd rather use like the best polished version rather than VS Code. Right? For me, it's like you got your artisanal editors these are the ones where you go and you and you and you craft your experience yourself. You know what I mean? So this is like NeoVim. This is Emacs. Then there's like these middle ground ones, which I don't quite understand. So you got like Fleet and you got VS Code, right? These like middle ground ones, which I don't understand. And then you got the large end ones, right? Um, it needs a lot more, which is like you got your full on system going on, which is going to be like Visual Studio or in IntelliJ, right? I, I just think IntelliJ you. is a great editor, right? If I were to use one, I'd probably just go IntelliJ. I'd just go all in. You know what I mean? Fleet needs a plug-in ecosystem. Yeah, Fleet Fleet is a while before it'll become great. I wouldn't even worry about Fleet for a long time. Not until they actually have something that's, you know. Why would you... Uh, there's no point in using something by IntelliJ that looks like VS Code that offers no plug-in support or offers little to no not quite thereness, right? You know what I mean? Uh, no, no, I'm gonna use Obsidian. I just gotta figure out a real reason to use it. Thank you, Lylan. I appreciate that. And Tugas, I don't know if I said thank you, but thank you. And Cradless, thank you very much, Cradless. Did I miss these? I must have. I'm sorry, I get so in my head sometimes. You know, that's just my personal thought. Personal thought. Yeah, clips would be hard. Can you tell us about your experience in Emacs? It was fun, did it for a year. All right, so this all looks good. This all works perfectly. Um, let's go to, uh, here, let's, I'm just going to commit right now. CC feature, uh, just check, kind of checkpoint commit, right? There we go. Let's just do a little quick checkpoint commit. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to need some de uh, dependencies. I'm going to go anyhow dot, uh, works, uh, workspace equals true, right? Uh, we'll probably want, what is it? Uh, perf, 
I don't think I can call it with that. I think I need to call it with an underscore, don't I? I need to call it with an underscore, don't I? Uh, fix. Alright, uh, let's go like this. Let's go perf checker this. There we go. Uh, anyhow works. Space equals true. There we go. So this is where we're going to need to start getting like SWC core. We're going to need to kind of go through all these things. Okay, so this is where it kind of gets interesting. Because, you know, that's what I got to do. Right, so we can go perf uh, checker equals path equals perf checker. There we go. Anything else that I need right here? I don't know quite yet. Um, I'm going to probably want... I'm going to want log. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if I can just... Is there a way to... Um, wait a second. Where am I? Did I how did I get there? Anyways. So is there a way to do like a, a CD uh, LS... Is there a way to do like a perf, like if I went into perf checker, or actually if I went like this and went to LSP, is there a way just like to cargo add some dependency, let's just say a log, and can I just say work workspace? Is that like a thing? Because I just want to use like whatever is whatever's already there. Uh, grep workspace, right? I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to like put it in myself. You know what I mean? Cargo... I guess add log, cargo, add, uh, what's it called? Uh, LSP types, cargo, add, uh, LSP server, cargo, add, LSP types. There we go. And now that I have that, so I should be able to do those ones. And so really, oh, look at that. Oh, nice. That one just auto-magically did it. These two are auto-magically doing it. This one isn't because I guess I don't have that one. Do I not Welcome have that Costco. one? Costco. I love you. I mean, I guess I have it right here. Why, why isn't that Welcome one? Welcome uh, Costco. I love you. Weird, right? Cargo. Why isn't that one just going right here? Because that was great. I wonder why one worked and the other one didn't, right? Uh, Fox. Thank you, and Swift Link. Oh, my goodness. Tier 2. Let's go. Rust is love. Rust is pretty nice. I use Obsidian to gather my PDFs long-term uh, tasks. Shit, uh, shit about my cars, etc. Yeah, Motus Terra. Welcome Thank you very Costco. much, baby. I love you. All right, you. so there you go. That looks about right what I need. Um, all right, uh, LSP types. Do I have that? Uh, LSP restart. Let's just see if I have it. Uh, uh, whoa, bitrate. Is the bitrate crashing again? All right, cool. So we don't have Saturday's just on. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cargo, gosh, I should probably put this on something. Uh, let's see. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, and just on. That sound about right? Bitrate seems fine. Um, all right, so let's wait a second. I think I got everything I need for this just to run, which is pretty great. Yep, uh, LSP restart. So I think I have it. Nice, there we go. We got this thing running, which means that I should be able to actually export some of this stuff. Pub start LSP, perfect. And what does this thing take? What does an LSP start? Okay, it doesn't take anything. Maybe I want this thing to... Nice, dude. This is, this is what Rust considers good formatted code. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. Uh, probably just me. Yeah. What's the name of the playlist? This is just a regular. This is just a. This is a non-named playlist. Uh. All right. Cool. So now that we have that, I should be able to start up the same thing, except for now I should be able to start it up from here, which it does look like everything's doing. It looks like we're building everything just fine. So let's go like this. Let's kill all that. And what does a cargo build do? Uh, how about this one? Cargo clean, cargo build. What do I get here? Dude, I hate transparent terminal. Oh my gosh. Are you saying you hate this guy? Tell me who this guy is right now. Darrow Welcome Cox. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Gotta go, Prime. Have fun. Have a fun? I'll have a fun.
Sorry, I don't hate the guy. Okay, I'll, I'll let you slide. I'll let you slide. All right. I think this should work. Okay, it does. Okay, good. It does compile that one. Nice. Okay, we got it. That looks good. Uh, sorry, I don't hate the guy. Good, you better not, because that is a very special man. All right, so let's just see if... Can we go like this? Here, I'll do cargo watch, build, and I believe that means I should be able to go here, and let's go like this. Welcome to Costco. Find target. I love you. Uh, executable. Debug. Uh, max depth. One. Okay, cool. So I have that one. So let's jump back over here to um, uh, LSP debug tools. Go here. Go here. And let's not do that one. Let's go like this. JS perf LSP. Boom. Bam. Yeah. Looks good, right? We just set it up. So this should now just set up the whole thing. Awesome. So let's go right here. Let's shout this thing out. Let's shout this thing out. And then we need to go back here, which totally borked this thing up because obviously this will uh, JS perf uh, LSP. There we go. Did that one. There we go. Let's just uh, ZZ that one back here. Shout that out. Shout that out. Boom. JS perf. Look at that thing go. Awesome. And this should say, what do, what do you say? Starting? Well, what if I go like this? What happened if I go right here, buddy? There we go. Got the notification. There we go. So we've reset it back up. We've reset up everything. Cool, right? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Perfect. Yeah, this is just me uh, coding. I, I'm learning, right? This is just a spike. I, I had to come up with an idea. I had to come up with a good idea for me to be able to learn. 99? Well, 99. Because, you know, I, I, you know I, I, I'm probably like a lot of you. I don't learn without, you know pretty significant pretty significant investment into a project there we go okay so this looks good so i have a main i have an lsp that has this thing that's all it is this lsp is pretty straightforward so we can start extracting stuff as we need it but now what we need to do is i need to go in here and I need to figure out how do i start looking for things right I don't know how to look for things. I've never, I've only played a little bit with SW, SWC, cargo add SWC core features ECMA AST, um, right? Cargo add SWC common TTY emitter, cargo add. Is there anything else? I don't think I need those. Uh, cargo Tommel right here. Uh, wait, hold on. Where did I put those? SWC, let's go like this and let's make sure they're in here. I technically don't need them there. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, perf cargo, and go. Uh, crap. Can I go back here? Let's go here. Let's grab that. Paste that. Uh, works. Space equals true. Oh, funny. Car uh, Copilot didn't do that. There we go. So we got those ones. So now let's go back here. I probably am gonna want log. Do we want anything else? I don't, I, I might, I don't think I, I technically don't think I need structured logger. There we go. Uh, rad trad calf. TJ will beat him up if he doesn't. Real reason he uses NeoVim. Wait, what? Just installed NeoVim. Let's go. Why walk the file system when you can harpoon? That's a good point. But sometimes you have to because I don't want to add it to harpoon because it's like I don't need that. All right. I want that thing. So there we go. So now we have the three things I want on here. So there we go. That one, that one, that one. So. So what should we have here? Uh, I guess I should... Uh, we need something that we're returning, right? Uh, perf result? Welcome to Costco. I don't know. Uh, I yeah, pub name? Why not? There we go. Pub time memory. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, why not, right? Uh, perf result. There we go. Return vec bang me daddy. Uh... All right, there we go. Takes two generic arguments. Uh, use uh, anyhow result. There we go. We're, we're doing good. Like actual improvements. Hey, Flustar, thank you. Oh my gosh, so fast. Uh, been a bit since I've been in. It looks like you've been going ham prime. Uh, oh, thank you, bye. How you doing, bye, my guy? Um, you doing good? Okay, so. 
this is where we're gonna have to do that whole SWC thing, which there is one unfortunate part because I have like deleted some stuff. You know what I mean? I've deleted some things, you know, and so I don't, I don't, it's not technically there anymore. I am having motion sickness from all the blazingly speed. What do I do when I feel overwhelmed and everything I have to learn and I'm feeling lost and I can't put a good plan, uh, can't put a good plan to do? A very, very simple. Stop looking at the whole picture. I mean that in the most simplified, most easiest way. Don't. Look at the whole picture. Often people will stop doing things and feel defeated because they look at like everything they have to do and go, I can't do all of this. So instead, look at just one thing you have to do. Figure out one thing. That's it. One thing. Just one. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Eat elephant piece by piece. Actually, good advice. Great advice. Actually, okay, I give some advice. T uh, time on. Okay, who's doing this? Who's making these polls? My desktop dog. Well, actually, technically, I'm currently on a laptop because I'm streaming. Uh, one thing is uh, your mom. Okay, do uh, watch Dr. K's about feeling tired. Finally, some good advice. Okay, lig my teats off. What am I supposed to say to you? Okay, Pitar, yeah, go for it. Prime not reacting, ain't no way. I usually react during the daytime. Uh, Poggy, do you not have any idea the stream schedule? We stream coding in the evening. We read articles in the morning. It's that simple. You know what I mean? Uh, couldn't find your mom as an option, so I went with laptop. Poggies, yeah, that's right. All right, so good. So let's jump back here. All right, so I don't really know how to use SWC. Um, let's go to SWC. I, I, we did this once, but I've already completely forgotten everything. And we have to relearn everything, and we have to look at how to do the plugin and blah, 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 blah. All right, remember when we did the docs on the website, and then it was horrible? Uh, hold on. I don't want the CLI. We don't want the CLI. We don't want the documentation. We want the Rust docs. Um, your entry point will be the parser. I remember that. Don't get bamboozled. So we're just gonna take oh, we're gonna take a hold of this thing right here. And let's start moving with this. Okay, there we go. And that's perfect. There we go. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> unused unused import. I just but I just but I just grabbed it off the example. What do you mean it's unused? <laughs> I've been had. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go pee again, you know, drinking, my goal is to drink three liters of water a day. These are each a liter and a half. So I'm at about two. F funny, you think I write code? Yep. 